I told you what this was with my microphone. <laughs> I was like, what is, I looked behind me, it's in front of me. Welcome to Tool Time with Tara. As usual, I'm fresh out of the shower. Maybe not usual, but. Hi, Stacy. <sighs> Decided to go for a walk today, so that's why I am partially showered. So excuse the wet hair. All right, so today is tool time with Tara. And I will be going over, and let me know if you hear any echo or anything. Um, I'm using my phone as my second camera because um, my other cameras are fixed focal length. And I've noticed recently that that's an issue when I'm trying to show detailed stuff. So hopefully um, it'll be better and I have a new camera on the way um, for the tool cam and the card cam and those kinds of things that need to be auto focusing. So slightly new setup today, which always um, leaves uh, the door open for gremlins. So computer gremlins to cause issues. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we won't have any of those kinds of issues today. Um, so today, I'm going to be talking about power layouts. Now, those of you that already do power layout, or maybe you did them in the past, like 15 or 20 years ago, and then you kind of forgot about them because I feel like it was more essential when we were all sharing six foot tables because I feel like people were like, I got power layout because you, you, you couldn't bring everything you own. Well, now everyone just, you know, drags a wagon to a crop full of everything they own, scrapbook and related. And um, so they're kind of have gotten away from power layout. But at recent crops, I would have heard of people doing them and how much they really reminded themselves how much they really like it. So I thought that would be a good thing to show because not everyone, it's one of those long time creative memories tools. So if you've been around um, forever, you might know what it is. If you're kind of new to creative memories, even not new to scrapbooking, then you might not have seen it, or maybe you saw it on the website and you just didn't know what the heck it was. So we're going to talk about that. And what else we're going to talk about? Power project folders, which you've seen before. I've shared those before. I use them to organize my scraps and you see them at crops when I bring all the collections. And I see people are sharing. And thank you so much for doing that. As usual, if you share this live, you'll be entered to win something right now, which that reminds me, I need to start collecting those things. Um, you're eligible to win something right now. And you are also eligible to live. live. Well, I'm trying to do something here. I don't know, so I'll share again. Um, you're also eligible to win $10 off of your next order at 10 p.m. when I draw. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're also welcome to uh, tag a friend that you know would like to be here. Um, because I'm doing the drawing later, I do have time um, to count those entries as well. Normally, I can't count those on the fly because my little picker um, from StreamYard, which is the program I use um, for my lives, they they pick from the comments, so they can't. It's not savvy enough to know who you're checking to make sure is on. And because I keep changing the time around, right? It was four, and then April was home, and then it's five, and April was gone. But I realized it. I had listed it as five, so I didn't want to confuse everyone by going live at four. So I appreciate y'all just being so flex your flexible selves. Um, I think that's all I have to tell you before I just jump right in. I'm excited to do this with you and introduce you to Power Layouts. 
All right. Um, I feel like I'm, oh, card uh, class for April is posted. There are eight of you that are signed up for this card class subscription. So you are already signed up, paid for, don't worry. If you're unaware, if you are signed up for the subscription, which means you just get charged $25 a month and you'll never miss it, um, let me know and I can tell you, or you can log into your account theoretically on my website, not the Creative Memories website, but my um, Daytona Area Scrapbooking Octopus Digital website. Um, if you log into there, there's, and up by your little picture, there's um, my, uh, there's subscriptions and you should be able to see what subscriptions you have. So, um, let's, get going and then I'll come back here and I'll take you out to the Creative Memories website because um, I'll show you where uh, power layout guys are hiding on the website because you might want to know that. Okay, is that better? Can you hear me? Vicki said she lost volume. I don't know. Is that better? Can you hear me now? Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So um, these are the card class, the card classes. These are the cards for April. The, the class will be the last Tuesday in April, 7 p.m. They each feature a gold die cut butterfly. And so your little gift uh, this month, you've gotten pens the last couple months, right? Your gift this month, month will be a little pokey tool so that that will help you to clear all these little these little doodads. And those of you that are used to purchasing, you can go ahead and do that before if you want, although most of them just kind of fall out on their own. So these are really fun. This one you notice doesn't have a sentiment on the outside. It's actually on the inside. May this be your grandest year yet. So word on the street was people uh, were running out of birthday cards. Um, so this one has a couple birthday cards and also ones that could be, you know, best wishes could be birthday or anniversary. There's one thanks and there's a cheers. Um, so those are kind of versatile. So about um, like, I don't know if I was muted when I said this or if I said it before I flipped over, but you, um, those of you that are signed up for the subscription, you're already getting the cards. Um, and if you're not sure, just let me know. All right. So this is a power project folder. And I've shown this before. That doesn't mean everybody on here has ever, you know, has seen it before. This is one of my favorite, um, favorite Creative Memories tools. There's two pockets on the back that are six by 12. So they'll fit long, long things. Okay. Then there's three pockets in the front to fit like mats and, um, and then this is, will fit long. It's 12 by, you know, three inches or four inches. So that will fit, um, borders. And then the center pocket will fit your 12 by 12s and it's gusseted. So it will fit a lot more than just one pa paper pack. In fact, I've shown this before. Um, I keep all my scraps 
in one of these. So these are all my blue scraps. I've, you know, I don't keep things that are really tiny, but I do keep my scraps. So this is a good inch, inch thick. So I put the big, big pieces in the middle, and then I've got the long pieces on the back, and then squatty pieces and little pieces up front. So my blue and my green are busting. Obviously, I use a lot of those colors. Um, and if it's a print, I do like predominantly what color it is. So this is predominantly blue, I would say. So for prints, I did used to have like a blue print and a green print. Um, but now I just put all the blues. And like these teals, you know, you got to just go with what you think it is. All right. So I have that handy. That is power. Um, project folder. I showed you one empty. Now this is how you're used to seeing them at crops because this is how I display the different collections. So I've got the vitamin C collection in here and it's got the mats and the embellishments and which are amazing and the two paper packs that come in there and then um, the laser cut borders in the back. So that way when you're shopping you can see everything. But these are also good to use when you're packing for retreats or crops because you can take one of these. And so I grabbed pictures from a cruise. It was a scrapbooking cruise, but my family was also on it. So you can either take all the pictures and kind of put them in here that you uh, want to scrapbook kind of say, all right, this was from a kayak um, excursion. So you can put all of those in there and obviously you can fit more than so you can put multiple, you can uh, divide them maybe with, with sticky notes um, so that you know where one uh, page when one two-page spread ends or one page ends and the next because not everything's a two-page spread but where one page ends and the next begins and so um so you can use that and then you can stick all the embellishments in that you want to use for this pack and you can add your um memorabilia from the trip if you've got maps or you know, brochures or both postcards or whatever. So you can put everything in there. And so then it's kind of, especially if it's like a trip where there's going to be multi uh, pages on one trip. It's not like I also have in here just a two page spread of the beach. April was working and Brendan and Aiden went down to surf. And so I took pictures of them surfing and my dad was visiting. So we have you know, this is just a two page spread. So, um, you know, maybe you could do multiples of these kinds of things in the pockets, or like I said, you could save this type of setup for all of that trip stuff. You can, when you get home from the trip, start putting all of the memorabilia in there. And then when you get the pictures developed, you can add those. And then when you decide what papers you want to use, you can add those. So that's one way it's not a power layout. I'm going to show you that. But that is one way that you can use these power project folders um, to stay organized when you're packing and not feel like you have to bring everything that, you know, that you own when you take your show on the road. Now, during, you know, the last two years, a lot of us were just hanging in our at home so we kind of had everything at at our fingertips but um now you know people are i mean we let's see our first retreat in 2020 after let's see we won the end of february and then well actually we were in the mountains in july and then we were in mount dora in october so we didn't the memory maniacs kind of didn't slow down but but we also have been working at home a lot more. So when you take your show on the road, it is nice to get organized um, using these Power Project folders. They are $20 and you get um, 
you there you comes in a pack of four and so they end up being about five dollars each um but you know before tax and all that so but i think they're they're awesome whether it's just to organize your stuff um like with my scraps of blue or to use for actual to help you with your scrapbooking okay this is the power layout box now back when i started selling creative memories in 2000 <laughs> nearly 22 years ago this little baby wasn't invented and so we actually used like pizza boxes that we got kind of like the secret boxes that you get now they were cardboard like pizza boxes and we would cut or use the 12 by 12 cardboards which are you know none of that is photo safe for long-term stuff but you know you're not it wasn't in there long term so that's okay well creative memories came out with the power layout box and guides and the power layout box i mean probably soon after maybe i don't know 2003 or four i mean it's been around for a while but the power layout box is $29 and it comes with the guides. So it's a box, a couple inches thick. Definitely um, you can lay out a lot of pages. Um, on one cruise, we had someone come on with like multiple of these boxes with their photos all laid out. And then all they, you know, it just, well, I'll show you. So bend this back this is a brand new one all right so I'm gonna tell you the way I like to do it because people do their power layouts all different ways now some people will go as far as to actually like trim their photos and corner round back when like corner rounding was what we did to every picture but in my opinion if you're gonna go to that level then like you may as well just stick the pictures down, right? So I, but you know, to each his own. And so uh, if that's the way you like to do it, then by all means. I don't because I always feel like when I get down to the nitty gritty of right before I stick down, sometimes I need to take a quarter off, quarter inch off something. Um, so I'm gonna move the power layup box out of the way so that you can better see what's going on over here. And the way I like to do it, so I said it comes with the guides. It does not come with pages. I'm I'm one of those people more and more because of project recipes and stuff, and I'm pre-making pages. I have more and more pages that are done, so I use the top loading or side loading sleeves. The nice thing is um, they have the same little fastener on the edge. Um, so you can kind of interchange them if you have to, but the way I, what I like to do first is take a pack of pages and then the layout guides that come with it. And I alternate. So I put a real page and then a layout, a guide, and then a real page and a guide and a real page and a guide. And I do that for the whole pack of pages. The reason why I do that is because when I'm going to power layout and you're going to see, this is going to be, um, well, my little thingies are on the, this is going to be the right side. So the little things are to the left. This is me to the right side. And since you can't like hold these pictures on cause it's a power layout and flip it over and lay out this side, that's what this is. So this is the back side of this page. It will be when you're done. So this front page would be like a title title page maybe. So, um, or like a, a one page picture. So let's just, let me, I'll just for fun say, okay, let's just say I'm going to do these pictures on the front because after all it was a scrapbooking cruise, but I have a lot of pictures of my family on excursions because they didn't, they don't come on many cruises, but they, you know, do come on some of them. So I have our group pictures and picture of me working and that kind of thing. So that's just one page, right? So what I would do is just this. Then I would go to my paper and my embellishments and I would pick out what paper I think I want to use. Now you can, you have, I have my scraps handy right here. I could use my scraps 
I probably, I see lots of pinks and, and greens, of course. So I'm going to, this is like a, a really light pink. I could go with more of a dark pink, but I just want you to get the drift. And again, I could be using some scraps in here. So I've got this and I'm going to throw that on that page. If I wanted any embellishments or anything, I'll throw that on too. This is, you always keep a post-it note and a pencil handy. And this is where you want to make notes of what punches and stuff that you want to use on this page. On my post-its, also what I will make a note of if I need a title. So if I want to say like, um, gosh, this was the 10th scrapbooking cruise. So I want to say this was what, like 2015 maybe. So I'll say like, um, 2015 and then I'll say like what kind of cardstock I want like hot pink hot pink and then I'll do like memory maniacs and then if I want to use like the wave border maker card uh, border maker punch I'll make a note on here wave border border maker okay and then um so I'll stick that on there. Now, if I'm pat, if I'm doing this while I'm packing, I may go run. You can't even read this. This is ineligible. But I may go run and grab those things and set them aside to pack right now. So, um, and then I said I needed hot pink because that's and as I walk away because I'm, I'm a hot pink. I'm gonna grab. I'll grab my, um, my pinks, uh, scraps. And if I don't, I probably don't need something this big, but I can grab that. And that's what I'll use for the Cricut. Now at this day and age, I'll probably bring like the Cricut joy to do this. And then I don't have to bring my big Cricut again, depending on if you're packing the night before the retreat, or if you've got some time, you might want to, if you, and if you don't have a joy and if you don't want to lug your big 12, um, 12 inch Cricut or scan and cut or whatever it is that you have, then you may want to take the time to cut out these letters and throw them on the page. If not, then I just will throw my card stock, make a note to myself. And then when I get to where I'm going, then I'll go ahead and do um, do that part. Okay. So that page is done. And that was, like I said, that's a right side page. So that's going to kind of be my intro page to the cruise. And I'm going to set that over to the side. So this is going to be a two page spread. Remember this plastic sheet, the guide, I is the back of, of the, of the one I just did. And then this is the right side. You follow? So now I'm going to take this. This is going to be a two page spread. This was a, we went kayaking and then we like hiked to, um, well, I think this was part of the hike. We hiked to these rocks and this is on the ship. This is after, this is kayak, kayak, kayak. This is right before the kayak. There was a hermit crab race. Oh, the hermit crab goes over here. Okay, so this is going to be my two-page spread. Now, all of these pictures might not fit on there, but that's okay. You don't need to be concerned about that. And that's where I was mentioning where some people like to like really nitty-gritty crop it and make it fit. Um, so, um, but I don't do that. I don't get that specific at this stage of the game. I just lay out my pictures. Now I'm going to take my, um, now I did grab Wanderlust too, just specifically because I knew about these rocks in this picture. And so this is, I grabbed my collection with Wanderlust and I thought, well, between the, you know, hermit crab and I wanted to, I think, yeah. And this is what I love about Creative Memories. It really doesn't matter like what pack that like 
that you use, it will blend so nicely with other packs. So now I'm gonna come back to the vitamin C and grab some blue. Um, and I don't know, like that is a little dark. I don't know, I might wanna match the sky more than the water. I also like the back of this red paper. I don't know if you saw it when I flipped it over. Um, sorry, as I'm fighting with my paper over here. This, I'm sad that the vitamin C is available while supplies last and it's not returning, but I know they won't leave us without a tropical type pack. So not to fear something will come in its place. So this has like a darker blue. This has like a speckle. Look at how nice that goes together. These were released two years apart. I believe vitamin C came out in July, 2020. And here it is two years later, Wanderlust just came out and those look so awesome together. So for that two page spread, I'm gonna go with something like that. Now here's another thing you can do as I wander around my scrapbook room again. I keep my um, little sketchbooks and all my project recipes in, in here. So you can also, if you look flip through, if you keep your project recipes and you decide that you want to use a project recipe, you can either on your handy dandy post-it note, make a um, make note of which project recipe you're using, or just go ahead and slip those sheets out and throw them right onto the page. So if I wanted to use this project recipe here, you can also do that with sketches. If you go to the Creative Memories blog, or if you're part of the virtual crop group, like there was a virtual crop last weekend, um, they post sketches um, for challenges in the group and you can save them and print them out. They don't have instructions like the project recipes do on the cutting guide, but they, um, but their sketch is just the same and you can just tuck that in there with your, with your paper. Um, and like, I have my embellishments with me, but some people have their embellishments like in a binder or um, a zippy thing. And so maybe that might be just easy enough for you to bring your embellishments. Um, but like if you have a crab punch or a paddle punch or something, or again, with the cricket, you can make yourself a note, um, cut out kayak, you know, on cricket, slap that down. Um, and then again, whatever border maker cartridge you want to use, jot it down, stick it on the page and when you're done throwing the items that you need for this page you're going to stack the left side you're going to stack the left side why am i freezing can you hear me do you see me i was freezing <clears throat> um so you're going to stack the left side on top of the right side so you have that that two page spread and you're going to put it underneath the first page and so now we're going to go to the next so now i've got another two page spread i have no idea why i flip it over like that i just do um this was my mom in april and my aunt joyce did a horse horseback ride they ended in the ocean, so I'm gonna end with the ocean pictures. I started, okay. So, not a ton of pictures, but enough for a two page spread. Of course, I'll need to journal. If you're someone that has been around for a while and you've got a stack of like mats because of the map, like you have you've combined all of your different map packs and all that kind of stuff. I have those in a, in a power sort box arranged by color. 
and some of them get mixed into here um, as well. But I think I finally took them out. So then I have a whole thing of just journal boxes. So you can throw that on. Um, again, with the Cricut Joy and the pens, you can journal um, with um, a font and the pen. You can type it and then print. use the pen to uh, print it out with the Cricut Joy. Um, so that's an option as well if you want to wait to journal. But then again, now that we're here, I can just take, okay, I want to do my um, Cricut title out of, um, out of these color, out of that color. Then I'm going to come back over to my Wanderlust and get a nice little sand color here. This one is kind of, it's got speckles, which you can't really see down there, but that will look nice with the horses. And so I'm gonna use that. And then of course we've got more ocean and sky. So I'm gonna grab, and we also have green. I can do the green speckle because in the trees. So I'm going to throw that in there. And once I have, now I'm not sure how I feel about this color, but you get the picture. So once you have your, your, um, your paper picked and whatever else you want to add, and you've made, I've made my notes on here. Okay. I'm going to use this sketch. You could even just sketch it. You know, if you're worried about things uh, shifting and packing, you can just sketch out your page. It's handy that these are square, post-it notes are square. You could just sketch like this and then say, okay, I'm gonna add a border right here. I'm gonna add a journal box like this and then just stick it down. It only has to make sense to you. <laughs> You're not, you're not leaving it. You're not leaving this little trail of breadcrumbs. I mean, I think sometimes that's hard. Sometimes we don't know what our past selves were, were trying to leave for our future self, but normally we're not packing months before the retreat. So if I were packing this and then a week later I was using it, I feel like I would know what that meant. Um, of course we have a horse punch, so I would want to do an, a separate thing that says horse punch because I want to bring the horse punch and um, maybe the camera punch and then whatever border maker cartridge, BMC for short, um, whichever one I wanted to use and then just, just stick that on there. Like I said, I suggest that you don't stick it on there and move, move on um, be, and because then you have to go back through all these. So I would suggest if you write it down, you go over to your tools, grab them, set them aside, um, since you already know you wanna use them, and then you go left, left page on top of right page, and then stick them all under the stack. And you just continue like that for all the pictures that you want to bring with you. So all right then, right there, that's five pages that we just laid out in, I don't know, 15 minutes. I'm, I'm talking to, so it does not take long. And then when you go, when you're ready to pack up, you just slide them into the box and I, you could throw your post-it note on there. Um, it'll be fuller, but like, this is only, I mean, I didn't even put everything in. Um, I didn't fill all these pages that I brought out to show you. So by the time you add your paper and your pictures, you know, it gets, gets up there, but you can definitely, I would say, well, one pack of pages is 16, right? So that's 32 sides and you can easily fit one pack. You probably can fit two depending on how many embellishments and mats and stuff like that, that you put in. But um, I tend to, you know, spread them around on the page, not stick them in in a big stack because then it gets all kind of, kind of lumpy. 
Um, and that's where your notes to your future self um, really, really pay off. But um, it's a huge time and space saver um, to be sure, because when you have to just grab everything because you don't know what you're going to need, um, it, here I am, um, it really, really helps. Does anyone, I mean, that was a, that was a quick overview, but really it's a simple technique. Does anyone have any questions? Before I um, move on, no. Okay, well that's good. Do we have any power layouters, power layout aficionados on uh, in the chat today? Yes, Katie. It's it's really. I, I mean, even for. Um, I know you you do pages too, I know, and I know you do cards. But even for people that are doing cards, um, you can work with any size project because if you um, like, I have a lot of um, card like project ideas too, and so you can just use the guides to separate them. Now, if you're if you don't work on pages, right? Like I showed it alternating. You can't hear me, Frank? Okay, is that better? Let me know if that's better. <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't have my good my good speaker on. All right, I'm just gonna remove, excuse me as I stretch. I don't need that camera anymore. Okay, so hopefully that's better. Um, so if you're just using a uh, regular 12 by 12 paper because you use top loading sleeves, then um, you can just alternate them and the guides and just separate, um, use the guides to separate your two page spread or your one, one page or whatever. But like I said, it can use, be used to separate any, any type of project. Um, Yes, that's true, Stacy. I should do a, a power layout class for a Techie Tuesday because this concept is so helpful to me in paper scrapbooking that I actually do the same thing in digital scrapbooking. I throw pictures onto pages and that way I can plan it out um, because there is a finite number of pages you can put into a digital scrapbook. So sometimes it helps to kind of plan it out that way. Um, so anyway, do we have any power layouters <laughs> in the chat? Those of you that have been around a while, I know Jen G does and she, I don't see her on here. I know Barb does Barb Scarborough, but I don't see her in here. Okay. You do Vicki. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a game changer as far as packing. If you're overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that, I mean, some people just feel like, they're going to get to where they're going and they're not going to have that tool or that punch or whatever. So this, you know, their creative juices are going to, you know, send them in a different direction, which is totally true. Oh, there you are, Barb. Um, and they, your creative juices could send you, but the good news is if you're like at a retreat, then you're in a room full of people that probably have that punch or ha have a spare piece of black card stock or <laughs> something like that. Um, but yes, yeah, Rosie, I think, I, I think some of it is just, we, um, when we were, go we got really good about it when we had to like share a six foot table and we couldn't, we literally could not bring everything. And now because most people tend to have a six foot table and they have a wagon full of supplies, 
there's real there they just say i mean they just say i'm just gonna bring it all and sort it out there but you definitely f- feel like you get more done um at a retreat and obviously that's not the goal for for everyone getting away with your scrappy friends is just as important and or more important than you know completing pages but under the guise someone at your home should want to check your work and see how many pages you did <laughs> this could help you come home with a stack full of pages and say look what i did at this um at this retreat So post-it note for sure. In fact, if anyone wants to order one of these, I am going to order tonight. So if you need me to order you a power layout box and guide. Now, if you're here, if you're coming to either Volano at the end of the month or Lakeland, I'm just, this is me just talking off, like, just spur the moment here because I'm crazy like that. If you're coming to an upcoming retreat, Volano or Lakeland, and you would like a power layout box um, and guide set, I will, I will ship it to you for, and I will not charge you shipping. So um, free shipping. If you would like a power layout box, and or guide or extra set of guides. I know some people like to work on all guides, um, if they're if they're using top loading sleeves so that it has that support in between. So some people like two. I just use one set of guides in the box and then pages my because I use the regular pages. Absolutely. Um, Katie, you sure can. So I will ship I will ship that directly from the home office to you so it gets there um, quickly so you can start power laying out for the upcoming retreat. So if you're not on here live right now and you're watching this replay, I will wait to place my order at 10 o'clock to give more people time to watch the replay and to share. So if you have a friend that might be interested in that deal, make sure you tag them or tell them to watch this. And then in the comments, they can let me know or you guys can message me or text me. Um, You don't have to put it in the comments. However you communicate with me, honestly, I have to check a hundred different places. I'm like, is it on Facebook Messenger? Is it on the page messages? Is it in an email? Is it on a text? (laughs) It's like, uh, sometimes I have to text you all and say, I think you told me this and I can't find it. So um, anyway, however you want to communicate with me, you can do that and I will ship that to you. And if there's anything else you need me to add to your order, like an extra set of pages or um, taper and a refill or a pack of paper or whatever, you can tell me um, since a box is coming your way anyway. Um, I think that's it. Just a reminder again, if you weren't on at the beginning, the um, April cards are butterfly theme. Oh, they're upside down. They were so fun to put together. Um, I had to order some sequins. So some of them are not fully blinged yet. Like this one's going to have some sequins on it. So, and if you missed out, this month's card kit comes with a little pokey tool. So you can poke out those, the die cuts. And that will make it easier. So you won't be saying um, nasty things about me even though I can't hear you when you're at home working on your cards. Um, So I guess that's it. It's time to give something away. How about we give something away? How about we give away um, well, normally I give away a paper um, a paper pack to those of you that are watching on the live. But for those of you that are on here right now, I am going to give away um, two of the project, the power project folders. I say a whole, a whole pack, but I don't think I have a whole pack. Um, And then I don't want you to have to wait for that. I want you to start enjoying them. So I'm gonna give away two of those to the same person. So you're gonna get two power project folders. Okay. And so let's go to the giveaway tool. 
Now's your last chance to share right now. But those of you watching in the replay, you can share up till 10 p.m. to win $10 off your order. Just as a reminder. Oh, wait, I forgot. I was going to show you where to find them. Just kidding. Before I do the drawing, so you still have a couple seconds to share this live. Um, and don't forget to comment shared. You're going to find the power, all, your, all this stuff under the shop. You go to shop and then down to storage and totes. And... See, it's hidden. People people don't even know it's there because you figure it's not a tote. Here are the Power Project folders. It's a four-pack, $20. So somebody's going to win two of those right now. Not two packs, but two folders. It's a $10 value. There's your polishing cloth if anyone's missed those or needs them. Here's your cup caddy if anyone was looking for where that is. Oh, the best rolling bag on the planet. That thing spins on a dime. But here's, here's, the, here's the little gem. So the power layout kit that comes with guides is 29 and then an extra set of guides is 14. And, um, and then of course the, the sort and stash binder, which is amazing too. That's great for organizing your embellishments and stuff. Alrighty, and sharing again, but this time to see who our lucky winner is. Um, where are you? There you are. Okay, let's see who the winner of the Power Project folders is. Rosie! Congratulations, Rosie! You are the winner. Okay. Need to write that down. I'm famous for having to go back and review the video. Power Project Folder times two. Good thing I have my little post-it notes handy. All right, so thank you all for joining me this afternoon. Just a quick poll. Um, is five o'clock better? Was four o'clock better? Does five o'clock run into dinner prep and uh, other things? Is four o'clock better? I know some of y'all are in different time zones. Um, so just an informal poll if you... Um, I probably seven might be better, but seven, um, I can do it for the card classes, but I can't do it every Tuesday. So I'd like to pick a time that's consistent for us all. So we not to get confused either four or five, um, for everything but the card class. Um, so just an informal poll. If you have a, if you have an opinion. Okay. I thought for those of you that have to work till five, that five might be better. Um, but anyway, thank you for your, thank you for answering that informal poll. And with that, I guess I will turn you all, um, turn you all loose for the rest of your evenings. Thank you all for joining me for tool time with Tara. Now next week is Techie Tuesday and we're going to be doing fun with titles, um, 7 p.m. Yeah, is better. I know. Well, 7 p.m. would be better, except for most most Tuesdays I can't. So, um, except for the card class one. But at any rate, I will hopefully see you all on uh, Techie Tuesday. I know not all of you are digital scrapbookers, but if you're intrigued and you want to learn, um, learn about it, then it might be fun to tune in and you can still win $10 off your next order, of course. And um, everything is stored on YouTube and on Facebook. There's so many posts on Facebook, it's kind of hard to go back and see past videos, but they are arranged in playlists on my YouTube channel. So like all the card classes are in a playlist, all the tool times are in a playlist. So if you're ever bored and you want to go hang out, listen to the my voice for 45 minutes or so, 
you can check those out. So I guess that's all for now. Y'all know what to do until I see you again. Stay scrappy, my friends. See you next time. Bye-bye.